Hello guys and welcome to our next video. Today we are going to talk about design by contract programming with Python. This is a different different paradigm or style of the programming which requires a more declarative deep thinking about our functions and classes in general and what they are doing. Let's just uh, formally define what is design by contract. So this is a Wikipedia page designed by contract, also known as a contract programming, programming by contract and design by contract programming is an approach for designing the software. Put in it in a simple way. Uh, so th think about the preconditions and post conditions and then invariants. The preconditions in a computer programming, a precondition is a condition or predicate that must always be true, just pure execution of some section of the code. So we have some input values and we have the preconditions on these input values. That means that it's sh something should be true in order to get into the function. The post conditions is uh, in a computer programming, a post condition is a condition or predicate that must always be true just after the execution of some section of code. So imagine uh, that uh, this that you have some return value from the function and the post condition must be held true in order to properly return um, from this function. An invariant in, in mathematics, an invariant is a property of a mathematical object which remains unchanged after operations or transformations. So this is a certain type of thing that uh, must be true during the life cycle of our program or life cycle of our class. So this is the invariant. Quite cryptic. No doubt we are going to write some code and I'm going to explain uh, how you, sh you can leverage the power of the design by contract. There is a wonderful library. It's relatively new. Just give the start to this project. Uh, the project is iContract. It has extensive plugin uh, support as well, and the documentation is quite neat as well. So uh, here you can see the recipes, usage, um, uh, checking types at runtime. You can check it out. I'm going to put the links in the description of this video. But what I want to explore here, how you can get started with design by contract. What you need is uh, pip install iContract and then uh, you will have, so pip install iContract, yes, and then you will, uh, you are ready to get started. So putting it in a simple way, we have a task for opening a connection to various cloud environments, particularly we are supporting AWS, GCP and Azure. That means we have some support that uh, platforms and it's a set PCP and Azure 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 I don't know what the correct way of pronouncing this word and from that supported platforms we need to open a connection to this platform then uh, we are going to define the connection strings this is a dictionary and I'm going to define some simple numbers, uh, just returning some string. Have some AWS no, connection. The second is GCP. And same here, so it's a lambda returning um, super to the connection string. And we have Azure. We have Azure, which is going to return great Azure connection. And we have simple function. Uh, so we are going to basically create some connection pool or connection list to insert the string, this connection string inside this list and return back to, the, to, uh, to our class. So I'm going to define get connection list connection list and here um, 
it's going to accept the platform and return back the list of strings. Let's just go the path here. I'm going to import i contract and from typing from typing I think import list fixing the fixing the import. Okay, nice. That means that when we pass this, uh, and of course, if name is equal to name, let's just run this git connection list with some AWS, with some Irish. And, and that means Yes, uh, basically here we need to define. So what uh, we, we can, well, we have a product, precondition, sorry. We have a precondition. The precondition is that the platform passed as an argument should be in supported platforms. This is our precondition contract. So I'm going to define my contract require. So it's our requirements. And what we require, we require that platform argument should be in supported platforms. In supported platform. That's uh, uh, our precondition. Clearly, we are going to run it. Now it fails. We get a violation error saying that the platform in support platform was this one, gibberish, but it should be. AWS, Azure, or GCP. That's neat. And I'm going to let's just print this platform. Nice. But now I'm going to press a correct one. Yes, we just print the the um, print the arguments AWS here. So our precondition, the requirements is now true, so it worked. The second thing we are going to improve our code that I'm going to add um, the connection. Imagine that this is a dummy connection pool and it has connection pool um, append. I'm appending the connection as, uh, and require this connection string Get the platform. It's a platform and return uh, the connection pool. Let's just run this um, printing. Printing this one. Uh, yes, we are getting back the connection pool, which has a function lambda. This one, I was, which is in in order to when we call it, it will uh, print this, uh, return back this AWS, uh, ever some AWS connection string. So we are true here. We are printed down, but we have a post condition. So what kind of post condition you can think about this uh, get connection list? For me, uh, it should ensure that uh, a connection pool, returned connection pool is never empty. So there should be at least one connection string here. That means that we can define I contract, contract ensure. And again, lambda result. So result is a connection pool. And len of this result should be greater than zero. And for now, it should pass. Yes, but if something happened, something wrong happened, and you sent back this uh, empty list, and uh, yes, we get this violation error, and this is a post condition. So requirement is a precondition that platform should be in supported platforms, but when we exit or exit ex exit from the function or return from the function, we should ensure that there is no empty connection pool list. It should have at least one connection string in it. That's great. And this is our precondition and false conditions in contract by design. 
programming, we can add uh, some helper strings. So let's define a platform name should be AWS GCP or Azure. And here we can define that the connection pool must not be empty. And if we run, I just fail here with empty connection list. And the connection pool must not be empty. Yes, we get a nice message here as well. And now, um, oops, what happened? The connection pool. And now let's define that invariant. I'm going to define uh, the class on data classes import data class. Data class uh, class open connection, and this open connection should have platform as str, and has connection a connection string as a boolean type, and it is filled. The default is uh, true. Default is uh, true. And in it is false. So in it is false means that it's not going to be required during class instantiation. The field is here. Yeah, field. Nice. Now we have this uh, the function def get connection string self. And it's going to return back the str. And we have this con list. This is a get connection list with a platform, with a self platform. And connection string itself is con list. Uh, we're calling this lambda function and returning this con string here. That means that we are going wipe off this one. I'm going to define the open connection as AWS. Uh, we are going to get connection string um, and call it. Yes, basically, let's call it. Oh, I'm going to print it. I need to print it. Nice. Yes, we get this. Uh, have some connection string here. Uh, but let's think about a class in a variant. So I define or I declare that during the lifetime of my object, of my class, the, the has connection string boolean field should always be true. So no one can uh, tweak it to be false again. Um, that means we have a nice invariant so what can we do here? I contract, I contract, and invariant with the same name. And we are passing the self, and self this has connection, has connection string. And it should be always true. What does it mean to be always true? I'm going to show you that. Run it, everything is okay. But imagine that at some point, somebody decides to uh, not hack, but to tweak your class settings and make this has connection string to false. He is going to say has connection string and it make it false and then uh, get this connection string or do something weird. And when you hit this, the invariant worked and it says that there is a violation error. The self has connection is true, but it was set. Uh, the invariant is true, always true, should be true, but has connection string intentionally set by uh, set to false and it, uh, the invariant fails. That's why uh, the runtime we, get the, we got this uh, I contract violation error. That will ensure that nobody can change our invariant. That makes sense. It, uh, at particular conditions, uh, our class should protect himself 
by to be tweaked or hacked. This is a, a base ideas of uh, the design by contract. So it has precondition, it has postcondition, and it has an invariant, which will help to true uh, during the life cycle um, of our class. Quite neat, isn't it? So you can play around with uh, I contract, figure out uh, what can be helpful and how you can use it in your projects. It, it will require some time, uh, amount of time to get handy with it. But when you love it and when you use it, uh, it's really a powerful tool uh, to make your functions and classes more declarative. What I mean by that also, let me explain it. It's more crucial. Uh, it's a thinking design as well. So when you read this code, for example, the class open connection, you think the invariant and the has connection is true. Your future developers are already aware of the most important part of your class, as well as for the function. The most important part of the function that it should be, uh, should hold this uh, precondition and it should hold this post condition. While reading the readability increased, the importance of some invariants of some portions of our, uh, of our code is obvious enough not to touch or not to break something else. That's the uh, uh, core logic, core idea behind the design by contract um, programming. So give it a try. Comment out in the video what you think about this tool and if it's helpful enough for you. See you later and uh, hope everything will be okay.